Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell. And hey kids, back in the day, if you're watching this sometime in the late 20s, you're going to hear about the, you might never have heard the great wheels versus doors argument, but it was an internet thing for a while, right? Somebody said, what's there more of? And long discussions, to, when you include hot wheel cars, how many wheels are there and the wheels inside of clocks, but there's how many doors are in a home and cabinets and such. It was a fun discussion, I thought. One of the more harmless things that went through the internet. Well, this party game does the same thing, except in this game, we're going to be asking you, are there more current sport car brands in Italy or are there more films starring James Dean? Are there more miles to travel around the sun or are there more babies born daily? Are there more pandas in the wild or more casinos on the Vegas Strip? Are there more doctors or lawyers? That's what the game is and you're betting on the correct answer. Let's take a look. At the beginning of the game, each person is going to get three of these cards dealt to them. Uh, they are going to be wheels or doors. You want to have 10 of wheels or 10 doors to win the game. So this stack's going to be here, and we're going to be trying to get more of them. Each team is also going to get a set of five very good quality poker chips. There are four different colors of these. And one person's going to be dealt the dealer chip. And then we're going to draw a card and start the game. So we draw a card, it's going to show different categories. So you can see here, these categories has species of rabbit, avenues in New York City, species of eagle, known moons orbiting Jupiter, grizzly bears in Yellowstone Park, or Vatican Swiss Guards. Whew. We're going to draw two cards from this versus, so I drew number one and number three. Are there more species of rabbit or are there more species of eagles? I think rabbit. So you are allowed to bet chips, and the number of chips that you bet depends on what round of the game it is. So once around the table is round one, then two. So at first you can bet a maximum of three chips, then you can bet a maximum of four chips, and a maximum of five chips. You can only bet as many cards as you have, because if you lose, you're going to lose those cards. However, if you have no cards, you can still bet three chips. So I think it's rabbit. And maybe blue says, nah, it's eagle. Yellow agrees with them, although not as strongly and green agrees with me. And we do that in turn order from the dealership. We then turn it over. There are 90 species of rabbit, 60 species of eagle. So that's great. I'm going to get three cards randomly drawn off the top of the deck here, two doors and a wheel. And green's gonna get two cards, two doors. Blue has to give up two cards and yellow has to give up one card. You can decide which cards to give up. And then that is that. So there's all sorts of cards that are in this deck. Episodes of Game of Thrones. Uh, the percentage of habitable land covered by the British Empire, 1920. Apple stores, dinosaur species. And all these cards have fairly similar numbers. You can see these are all here in the thousands. These are in the hundreds. Here's one that goes up to the millions. Here's one that goes up in the humongously gigantic numbers, although the numbers can also be really small, single digit numbers. But there is a ton of these question cards and you're only gonna be using two of the comparisons on each one. So this question bank is gigantic. Um, anyway, you just keep playing until one person gets 10 wheels or 10 doors and that ends the game. Okay, so the idea of are there more rainforests or are there more Olympic gold won by Usain Bolt? Which one is there? I think there's more medals won. Nope, there is, oh no, there is. There's eight medals won as opposed to seven rainforests. I like the concept of this game a lot. And these cards are great. I don't know how accurate they are, but they're accurate enough for me in the sense they, the, I like how each card is in the same range, like I said. And every time you use one of these cards, you're only going to use two of the things on that card. There's lots of fun discussion. It says there's 150 cards over 4,000 combinations. That's a lot. You're not going to use them all in every game. But the scoring is terrible. The whole wheels versus doors. Because what that happens in this game is you're going to bet on an answer. You don't really know. You're kind of just guessing. It's a fun game. There's not a lot of effort into it, but it's just kind of a fun thing. Oh, I think there's more wheels or there's more doors. There's more uh, miles to travel around the sun than there's words in all Shakespeare's plays. Nope, there's more uh, words in Shakespeare's plays. But anyhow, you bet on that. If you're wrong, you lose your cards and you go down. 
And the game scoring, trying to get 10 wheels or 10 doors just doesn't work. You just get lucky. And the game would be much better. I know that they wanted to put this wheels versus doors thing in it. It'd be much better if you just guessed every round and you got a certain number of points if you're correct or not, or something. Some sort of push your luck. But in the way the game works is the first round of the game, people are going to bid. They're going to be wrong. So then they just bid again the next turn. Eventually you get a bunch of cards. And at that point, do you bid? I, I don't know. I just, I just really dislike that. And that makes me give the game a 6.5, which is just close enough. And you're like, but if you don't like the scoring that much, because I love everything else about this game. I've taken these questions and using them in my own game shows because I think they're so neat. There's so many different cool things on here. They did a good job at asking, you know, they have things like the number of airports versus the number of blinks you make in a day. Well, that's pretty interesting. But here's the, the human population's daily farts. I'm not actually sure if someone can control that, but is there more of those or is there more stars in the Milky Way? It, it's, it's stars in the Milky Way, okay? <laughs> and I like that and I want to like this game more. And so maybe, I, I mean, I'll, I'll probably find some sort of way to jury rig it to add my own scoring things in. But when we rate games here, we're kind of rating them as is in the box. And as it is, I like the concept of this game. I just don't like the execution of the scoring. So that's wheels versus doors. And by the way, the correct answer is doors. Um, I'm Tom Vassell, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.